Mr. Mark D, the world premiere coming right back at you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, man, I want to hear about my last video. I saw some of the replies, and uh, I'm going to back this video up with something else. But uh, people are betting on the things that I said on YouTube. Dude, and I'm going to hit you off as a common sense better. Common sense betters don't bet on one team. Only an idiot bets on one team. A common sense better spreads money around. Therefore, they never lose. Why do you think a, a good a good gambler makes a lot of money? He's not a fucking idiot. He spreads his money around. You don't, you never bet on one team. Only an idiot bets on one team. So rule number of gambling, spread your money around. Always have a scenario that if you lose $20, you can win $40. I mean, only an idiot does stuff like that. Smart Smart gamblers don't do that. So somebody gambled on one of the the uh, scenarios I threw out there, lost their money, and then started crying like a little, little broad. Come on, dude. That's not even common ass sense. Spread your fucking gambles around. But going back to the game today, damn. Was we wrong? Got to give it up to Zach. Zach Hubbard again. He kind of beat us up with this one. Partially. Partially. He did pick Philly to win. He picked... The Saints to be there. I still had Saints in the scenario. I really wanted to see Saints versus Steelers. More entertaining. I have no idea where they're going right now. And honestly, I hope they're not just going to give it to Brady. Nobody wants to see that crap. My first initial pick starting off this season was that the Minnesota Vikings would be in the Super Bowl but not win the Super Bowl. That was my first initial pick. Could be wrong, but that was one of my first initial picks. So if you are gambling, you can bet on various scenarios. You can bet on a team that win an NFC. You can bet on a team that win an AFC. You can bet on various scenarios and still always get your money out the deal. But some people have Philly going. Now, we did see a Pennsylvania team going. It was just this uncertainty of which team. So, a lot of us jumped to Pittsburgh because, hey, that's the team. And, hey, they got a chance to win seven titles historically. But I guess people wanted the Philadelphia Eagles and Nick Foles to be there. I mean, I don't understand. But the story is not over. So, I'm going to go back to possibly the Minnesota Vikings being in the Super Bowl at home, which would make history. Now, we're talking about history. No team in the modern Super Bowl ever has ever played a Super Bowl in which they're hosted. No team has ever done it. It's always been some crazy crap that's went on before it happened. But Minnesota has the opportunity to be the first team to do it. Will they win it? I don't know. But they could actually pull it off. They could actually pull it off. Okay. You need people to come to this Super Bowl. Remember, this is a cold-weather Super Bowl in Minnesota, which gets very, very cold. Will Jacksonville fans go to a Minnesota Super Bowl, even though it's indoors? Uh, I don't know. So right now, it looks a lot like we might see Tom Brady again, and nobody really wants to see Tom Brady again. But this is where they're going. And this is a sad part of sports that they, even in wrestling, they grab on a one person and they think, well, we just got to keep forcing this person down people's throat. And that's why people tune out. People don't want to keep seeing Tom Brady Always in the Super Bowl. I mean, that's why people really turn off the TV. It's like LeBron. People are getting tired of LeBron. People are getting tired of Tom Brady. But this is the way that big time leagues think they have to. They have to have this superstar, and they ride them until they pretty much drain the energy out of the fans. But this is where we at again. Another scenario where I thought it'd be a better scenario to have some Hall of Fame quarterbacks going at it, even if you had the Patriots. Shit had your breeze in there, but now what do you got? What do you got? I sent every what? What? You just had Drew the Patriots by themselves and Tom Brady. I mean, come on, man. So my prayer is that our new theme is that out with the old, in with the new. Out with the old quarterbacks and in with the new quarterbacks. I wouldn't mind seeing a new quarterback being kind of crowned a champion this year. And this is really the backup guys, the guys who nobody really thought would do it. They had they had hope that they would, but wouldn't. So we got Blake Bortles, who was a big-time draft pick. Case Keenum, when he came out of school, was a big-time draft pick. And we got right now Nick Foles, who was a big-time draft pick. So one of them guys, give it to somebody new. Nobody wants to see Brady win it all the time. 
that's not, I mean, it's not exciting. For New England fans, it might be exciting, but it's not really exciting football. So, got three teams that are running. And the biggest possibility is that Minnesota could get the Super Bowl or we could have Philly being that Pennsylvania team. The worst possibility is on the AFC time is AFC side is the only team the AFC thinks that can be in the Super Bowl is the the, the, the damn Patriots. I mean, it's kind of sucky. But the side is I hope the Jags beat the Patriots and we don't see the Patriots anymore. I kind of got the end of the Patriots dynasty coming up. But who's to be said? Mr. Mark, the back row ministry, peace and everything.